Munich Meta, LLB, CA, CS, IRP. Income Tax Act, 1961. Section 194C. TDS on Contract. Introduction Section 194 CTDS on contractors is very important as it hits millions of business people in India. Hence, a proper and detailed understanding of the section is required to avoid future unseen problems in your business. When payment is made to a contractor or subcontractor then TDS is required to be deducted as per Section 194 C of the Income Tax Act. Resident Contractor Any person Person required to deduct TDSU forward slash S one nine four C. Any specified person making payment to a resident contractor for carrying out work is required to deduct TDS. TDS on transport contract. Section 194C provides for TDS to be deducted on payment made to a transporter on contract. TDS on transportation charges are required to be deducted under Section 194C of the Income Tax Act, 1961. When a person makes a payment to the contractor on a contract, the person has to deduct TDS on such payment made for transportation or on payment made towards freight charges. Let's understand this concept in depth. TDS on transport contract Meaning of specified person Specified person here means Central or state government Local authority Firm Corporation Meaning of work The term work includes 1. Meaning of work 
The term work include manufacturing or suppling a product according to the requirement or specification of customer by using material purchase from such customer or its associates. In such case, tax shall be deducted on the invoice value excluding the value of material purchased from such customer or associates, if such value is mentioned separately in the invoice. Where the material component has not been the separately mentioned in the invoice, tax shall be deducted on the whole of the invoice value. Threshold Limit The TDS has to be deducted when Example No TDS is required to be deducted when the amount to be paid or credited to contractors does not exceeds RS 300000 forward slash however if aggregate amount of payment to be made to contractor in a financial year exceeds RS 1,00,000 forward slash then TDS is required to be deducted. Contractor means Contractor means any person who enters into a contract with The central forward slash state government Corporation Subcontractor means Subcontractor means a person who enters into a contract with a contractor for Conducting either all or part of work, which the contractor has agreed to complete Supplying manpower for all or part of work taken by the contractor. TDS rate 1% When payment is given to individual forward slash HUF 2% When payment is given to other than individual forward slash HUF. Note TDS rate will be 20% if PAN is not provided by the deductee or PAN is invalid. Time of deduction. The time of deduction is earlier of the credit of income to the account of the pay or actual payment in cash check draft or other modes example to explain 194c applicability Non-applicability of Section 194C TDS under Section 194C is not required to be deducted in following cases.
calculation of TDS in case of composite work. When work includes manufacturing or supply of a product as per the specification of a customer by using the material purchased from him forward slash her. In such case, TDS will be deducted on invoice value excluding the price of the material, if it is indicated separately in the invoice. Total invoice value, when the price of the material is not indicated separately. Time limit to deposit TDS It does not end with deduction of TDS only, you have to timely deposit the TDS amount to the government. TDS is deducted for the months of April to February. On or before the seventh day of the following month. TDS is deducted for the months of March. On or before the 30th day of the April month. Time limit to file TDS return. After depositing TDS, quarterly TDS return. Form 26Q is also required to be filed. Given below are the due dates. Due dates Periods Time limit to TDS statement issue TDS statement is issued by the who is required to deduct TDS. Form 16 is issued to the deductee quarterly. Due dates were as follows. Consequences of non-compliance of Section 194C Levi of interest, if the specified person does not deduct the TDS or deduct the TDS but not deposited to the government on time then interest is required to be paid on such amount. Disallowance of expenses, also, the person is not eligible to claim the deduction of such expenses from PGBP income if TDS is not deducted on time. The amount of disallowed expenses shall be 30% of payment. However if TDS is deposited in subsequent years then expense will be allowed in the year of payment of TDS. Case Law, Cargo Linkers 179 Taxman 151 forward slash 218 CTR 695. Fact. The assess is a partnership firm who collects freight charges from the exporters who intend to send the goods through a particular airline and pays the amount to the airline or its general sales agents and for the services rendered, the assess charges commission from the airlines. According to the AO, the assess was liable to deduct tax at source on the payments made to the airlines. The Hunby LEDHC held. We are in agreement with the order passed by the tribunal which has mainly decided an issue of fact, namely, the nature of the contract between the parties concerned. It has also been found as a matter of fact that the contract is actually between the exporter and the airline and the assess is only an intermediary. Therefore, it is not a person responsible for deduction of tax at source in terms of Sec 194C of the Act. Asset vs Mainish.46 SOT 130, Mum. In this case, the assess was engaged in the business of dubbing work in his own studio comprising of various dubbing equipment. Whenever, assess's studio could not be used, 
he used to give the work of dubbing to other studios as a subcontractor. The SS deducted tax U forward slash S194C at 2% but AO was of the view that he should have deducted tax at 20% U forward slash S194I. The CIT, uh, as well as the tribunal have held that it was a contract for work falling U forward slash S194C since the SS had utilized the dubbing services which was in the nature of getting work done through a subcontractor. Ahmed Abad Urban Development Authority vs. Asset. It at Ahmed Abad. Held. As the cars were owned and maintained by the contractor and all expenditure was borne by the contractor, the contract was for carriage of passengers for which the assess paid a fixed amount. Therefore, the payment of vehicle hire charges fell within the scope of S194C and was not rent for S19. East India Hotels vs CBDT 320 ITR 526, BOM. The issue before the court was whether services provided by a hotelier would fall within the scope of the said expression. The court answered in negative by observing as under. The services rendered by a hotel to its customers by making available certain facilities forward slash amenities like providing multilingual staff, 24-hour service for reception, telephones, select restaurants, bank counter, beauty saloon, barber shop, car rental, shopping center, laundry, health club business center services etc. do not involve carrying out any work which results into production of the desired object and therefore, would be outside the purview of section 194C of the Act. Asset vs Accenture Services, p. Limited. 44 SOT 290, MUM. In this case, the assess deducted tax at source U forward slash S194C against payments made for hiring of vehicles for transportation of its employees. Under the contract, it was the responsibility of the transporter to provide the staff for running the vehicles as well as for ensuring all legal and operational obligations. The AO treated such payment for hiring of equipment falling U forward slash S194I and therefore passed an order U forward slash S201-1-4. Short deduction of tax. Held, IT is a case falling U forward slash S19. SRF Finance Limited vs CBDT 211 ITR 861. Dell. The issue before the court was whether payments made to broker forward slash commission agent would fall within the scope of section 194C. Considering the various circulars and the various amendments proposed and dropped, it was observed. It was held that act of broker forward slash commission agent amounts to act of service and thus outside the purview of section 194 Clarification from the board. Advertising contract. Advertising contract when a client makes payment to an advertising agency, and not when advertising agency makes payment to the media, which includes both print and electronic media, the deduction is required to be made at the rate of 1%. When an advertising agency makes payments to their model, artists, photographers, etc. The tax shall be deducted at the rate of 10% as applicable to fees for professional and technical services under Section 194J Circular No. 715 dated August 8, 1995. Broadcasting Forward Slash Telecasting Contract Advertising may be in print or electronic or electronic media i.e., in newspaper, periodicals, radio, television etc. In such cases, 
the tax will be deducted at the rate of 1 or 2 percent of the payment made for advertising including production of programs for such broadcasting and telecasting to be used in such advertising. Payment made by a cable operator to get license of TV channels is payment for a work contract pertaining telecasting right and covered by Section 194C Kurukshetra Darpants, P. Limited VSCIT, 2008, 169 Taxman 344, Punch and Ha. Payment made to travel agent or an airline. The payment made to travel agent or an airline for purchase of air ticket for travel would not be subject to tax deduction at source as the privity of the contract is between the individual passenger and the airline forward slash travel agent, notwithstanding the fact that payment is made by an entity mentioned in section 194C. The provision of section 194C shall, however, apply when a plane or a bus or any other mode of transport is chartered by one of the entities mentioned in section 194c circular number 715 dated august 8 1995 payment to clearing forward slash forwarding agent payment made to clearing and forwarding agents for carriage of goods is subject to tax deduction at source under section 194c the travel agent issuing ticket on behalf of the airline for travel of individual passengers would not required to deduct tds as he acts on behalf of the airlines the position of clearing and forwarding agents is different they act as independent contractors any payment made to them would, hence be liable for deduction of tax at source. They would also be liable to deduct TDS while making payment to carrier of goods circular number 715, dated August 8, 1995. Whether payment directly made to door de shan forward slash air for release of advertisements is liable to tax deduction. No, the payments made directly to Dor de Shan forward slash air is not subject to TDS as Dor de Shan forward slash air being a government agency, is not liable to income tax. Source, Circular No 715DT.8.8.1995 Whether sea forward slash air freight paid to residents still liable to tax deduction. The exemption is available only for goods carriage vehicles specified in Motors Vehicle Act 1988. Munich Meta. Plus 91.